Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister Samantha accuses her of having no heart Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister Samantha Markle is back at it again. Samantha appears in a new documentary about Meghan Markle's feuding family, Meghan and the Markles, a family at war. Her interview covers the entire history of the family's split, and in a move that won't surprise anyone who's been following the Markle drama, Samantha blames everything on Meghan. She doesn't have a heart, Samantha said, per the Daily Mail. Or she would be doing everything she could to make opening bracket Father Thomas Markle a closing bracket comfortable and reciprocate, and be loving and gracious and make sure he's comfortable in his old age. In February, Thomas released to the press an emotional letter allegedly from the Duchess of Sussex. In it, Meghan begs him to accept her help, reach out to her, and stop lying to the press. But somehow, Samantha says that letter was a strategic and contrived move on Meghan's part. Could the Duchess's family be any more of a headache? The Duchess of Sussex has been dealing with major family drama ever since she got engaged to Prince Harry. Her father, Thomas Markle, routinely gives scathing interviews to the press about his daughter. And so do her two half-siblings, Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle Jr., recently, Thomas S.R. went so far as to release to the press an emotional letter allegedly from Meghan. In it, Meghan accused her dad of breaking her heart into a million pieces with his behavior. She also wrote that she barely knows Thomas' other daughter, Samantha. And yet Samantha certainly acts like she knows Meghan well. She has lobbied a seemingly never-ending series of insults at Meghan over the months including one clever line in which she called the Duchess of Sussex a Dutch asterisk asterisk. In February, she attacked Meghan for writing messages of support to sex workers, because the messages were written on bananas. I was hoping my sister would give them each a beautiful bouquet of flowers, words of strength, and enough money to change their lives. That is what sharp humanitarians do. Bananas? WTF, she wrote. Samantha appears in a new documentary about Meghan's family, Meghan and the Markles, a family at war. Unsurprisingly, she had some very negative things to say about Meghan. According to Samantha, the family's feud began when Prince Harry gave a radio interview in which he referred to the royal family as the family I suppose she's never had. That interview was in 2017. Shortly after the first Christmas that Meghan shared with the royal family, the first thing I thought was that I don't think Harry has been given the full story, Samantha said in the documentary. Something was not right. Though we weren't the classic family together on schedule for every holiday, we were family. Samantha went on to accuse Meghan of being embarrassed by her family. She said that it felt like Meghan wasn't reaching out regarding the letter that Meghan reportedly sent to her dad, Samantha doesn't have any sympathy for her sister. She doesn't have a heart or she would have been doing everything she could to make him comfortable and reciprocate and be loving and gracious and make sure he's comfortable in his old age, she said. So broken heart? No, his heart is broken, she continued. She can't turn herself into the victim here. Samantha also called Meghan's letter strategic and contrived. She was basically saying that my dad had been a liar and that I was a liar, Samantha said. The documentary also examines Meghan's splintered family and why she didn't have any relatives aside from her mother at her royal wedding last spring. Her half-brother Thomas was arrested for drunk driving in January. Soon after, he invited Meghan to his wedding and blamed her for the family feud. Thomas Jr. accused Meghan of being a little Hollywood starlet and being focused on her career rather than her family. He and Samantha both claim that the rift goes back to Meghan's days on the TV show Suits. Meanwhile, Meghan is getting more and more pregnant. She just celebrated a baby shower in New York, and her baby is due in late April or early May. But she apparently still has to set aside time to deal with her family's drama. She has reportedly threatened to sue the mail on Sunday for releasing her private letter. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.